Sectional action at Community Lanes in Minster, and we get rolling. St. Henry's John Jansen gets it rolling with a strike, helping the Skins advance to the district round with a 36-21. He had a 531 overall, good for 11th place, as does Minster and Rylan Edwards. He picks up the spare. Minster with a 36-29 final score. Also picking up a spare, Temple Christians, Bryson White. The Pioneers not qualifying for districts, but they finish in 10th place. Parkway finished in a tie for eighth. Aaron Buffenbarger's ball picks up the spare. LCC's Michael Miller, he gets all 10 pins down as the T-Birds notch a seventh place finish this year. Delphus Jefferson's Mark Steeman, he gets the spare. He finishes 12th overall with a 531 as the Wildcats place fourth, just outside of district qualification. Coldwater wins overall, probably because of balls like that. Garrett Bruns with the strike, getting the pin to knock over the 10 pin for him. Coldwater finishing first overall. Perry's Ethan Reed picks up the three pin spare as the Commodores place 11th overall. The Marion Local finishing eighth. Deacon Kemper with the strike. Kemper placing 24th overall with a 478. So St. Henry, Minster, and Coldwater advancing as teams to district. Braden Hubbard of LCC, Maverick Nelson of New Bremen, and Ashton Milligan. Also the individual qualifiers, they will advance to the district round. Elsewhere, more sectional action up in Fostoria at Seneca Lanes. And we start with Liberty Benton's Luke Teeters getting the strike right there. Now some more action as Kenton's Zane Rogers gets the nice little English there toward the end of the lane and he gets the strike. Then Liberty Benton's Caleb Cullert slows it down and hey, you know what, the speed of the ball doesn't matter as long as all 10 pins go down. He gets that strike there. And then Caden Boutwell, more Liberty Benton action, gets it to curve right back. That's a gutter for me usually if I throw a ball that close. Uh, it's, it's going not where it needs to go. Then Isaac Teeters, he gets the curve to go for the strike. Now action for the Bath Wildcats. Peyton Newberry, he knocks all 10 pins down as well, putting some nice English on it as well. Then more action from Zane Rogers. He gets it again. Another strike for the Wildcats. Liberty Benton and Kenton moving on to districts. Congratulations to both of those teams.